Hello everyone. Welcome to the Daily Cruise Prayer and or message. I hope everyone is doing well. I myself, I'm doing really well. I just wanted to get on here, you know, and blow the whistle. You know, because I am a whistleblower. As I receive the downloads from God, I am revealing the information that I am receiving. You see, there's a lot of people, you know, they receive this information from God and they like to hold on to it and shit. Keep it like secret and they just keep it within and because they're afraid to tell it. They think they're going to get in trouble or they think they're going to uh, die or they think something's going to happen to them or whatever have you. So they keep it. I don't care about that shit. Because I'm divinely protected. Okay, I am fearless. My soul is eternal. So anyways, so I was listening to a song earlier today. You know, one of my favorite rappers, I'm not gonna say his name. And you know, I received the download just from listening to the song. I overheard him say, he said something, a lyric, something like along the lines of, the IRS, the IRS is in his money, in his business or whatever have you, looking for, you know, looking for discrepancies or whatever. So then I, I said, oh shit. And then, and then there it go, it came down, boom. And I'm like, look, why do these people in the government why are they so focused on black people? Why do they, it's like they, they can't sleep at night. It seems like they toss and turn and be like, what they doing? I wonder what they doing. I need to watch them. I need to see what they doing. They don't be looking at the white people like that. They, they do not. If, if, if the individual is a uh, black powerful or you know got potential to be a leader or is a leader they be doing this shit i need to watch their every move what they doing why do y'all do that shit government you want to know why just in case if you don't know why i'm going to tell you why you want to know why because you got that KKK DNA inside of you. You got that faulty DNA, that jealous, uh, you got jealous demons on you. You got envious demons on you. You know, it's pretty pathetic. I used to work for the federal government, you know, so thank you God for rescuing me from that hell. I got rescued from there from, in 2017. God helped me to get up out of there. Helped me to see things clearly. There's a lot of these people. They work for the federal government. They work there in ICE. They work for the FBI, the CIA, or whomever else they work for, these agencies and shit. And they just be just looking at people and shit. It's like they're living their lives vicariously through other people and shit. Is your life that miserable? To where you got to prey on other people. To where you got to target other people. It's like you sitting there hoping someone uh, uh, messes up and shit. You watching them and shit. I hope they mess up. I hope they mess up because I want them to go to jail. How about you put your own self in jail? Because you are the one that's creating the crimes around here. It's you. Violating people's free will. These people are not even thinking about your ass. Like, for example, the artist. He be, he's busy. He's in the studio creating music and shit. He's creating, doing what he loves to do. And here y'all go. Oh, I'm so miserable. I don't want to see him make it because uh, I can't stand that shit. It's really getting on my nerves. And first of all, why is it 
that the people have to pay taxes in the fucking first place. Look, this whole situation is a scam. This federal government of bodies, these officials, they didn't came up with some shit. They taxing people. They're taking people's money. And then on top of that, they, they want more. It's like they're not satisfied with taking taxes and shit. No. They want to watch people and shit. Then they want to steal their ideas. Then they want to send spells to them and hope that, hope that they fail. They want to send black magic curses towards people and hope that they fail or get locked up or some shit like that. And then they try to put traps out there to get them caught up and get to get them in trouble and shit. Why do y'all do that? Are you that miserable? Look, y'all got some demons on you, okay? That's why you're doing it. That's why you've been doing it. Y'all have been doing this shit for years. And y'all have gotten away with it. Things are changing now, as you can clearly see. You won't be able to get away with that shit no more. Many of you are in grave danger. Many of you have created so much negative karma for yourself because you went up against God's children. Y'all targeted God's children because you didn't get enough hugs when you were kids and shit. Because you got something missing within you. You wanna know what's missing? Your soul is missing. You done lost your soul, it's gone. I hope you can get it back. You got a lot of jealousy in you. Okay? I don't understand how y'all have gotten away with this shit for so long. I mean, you guys are preying on people left and right around here. Y'all putting chemicals in the food. Y'all are, uh, you know, y'all were just locking people up just to lock people up. Somebody will walk to the store and shit. If they black and it's the wrong day and shit, it's the wrong day and they black, they'll end up getting shot just for being black. You, many of you are demon infested. Okay, and you need to evict those demons and set yourself free because you are the ones that are creating crimes around here. You are a terrorist, okay? You are a thief. You stealing people's money. They shouldn't even have they shouldn't even have to pay you. You haven't done anything. Oh, just because you're the government, the IRS, you uh, you give me some money. I don't care. You worked hard for that money. I want a little bit of that money. Why? Why? And then it's like y'all are y'all stick y'all noses in everybody's business. Why do y'all do that? Well, you know why? I already told you why. Y'all go from y'all be in a whole other country. Sticking y'all noses in their business. Trying to control them with your tanks and your, and, your, and your guns and shit and your military and shit. Digging holes and trying to get oil and shit. It's like, that is, that is the land that they were born on. Y'all done took y'all asses over there. Why are you so afraid of everybody? And like, oh my God. They going to get me. I need to go over there and uh, we need to build a wall because they going to come in here and they going to get me. I'm scared. Why are you afraid of every damn thing? Why? I'm serious right here. This is this. Why are you afraid of everything? It's because you're infested with demons. That's why. 
you are tormented by demons and they got and it took a hold of your mind and they got you thinking that everybody is out to get you news flash you are not that important don't nobody want what you got because everything that you got you stole any fucking way you stole it Gloves is coming off today, just for y'all, okay? Now, I hope you can get this message clearly. I hope you, hope you can receive it clearly. And I hope you can become brave, like for real brave. They didn't call this shit the land of free and the home of the brave. How? How is this land the... The home of the, the, the what? But the how is it that shit? How is it the land of the free? How is it the land of the free? And how is it the home of the brave? When y'all think everybody is out to get you and shit. And you stealing shit from everybody. How? That's called false advertising. That's a crime right there in itself. That's a crime. Y'all out here lying. You are not powerful like that. Many of you think that you're more powerful than God. That's why you've been doing what you've been doing. You are trying to control the world. Humans. Humans, you are a human. You don't even know anything about a spiritual war. You don't even know anything about energy. You so damn afraid of demons and shit. You, you, you don't even want to talk about demons. Ah, oh, shit, she just said a demon. Huh? Where's my Bible? I need to read the scripture. I need to call. I got my preacher on speed dial. You are very fearful, many of you, many of you, you know who you are, okay? Now, the only way for you to make it, you know, to get rid of those demons and shit, you have to turn around and face those demons that's been controlling you this whole time. They made you do all the shit that you've been doing. You're driven by fear. That's a demon. You're driven by greed. That's a demon. You're driven by the need to control. That's a demon. You're driven by the need for power. That's a demon. Just in case you didn't know. Those demons want you to lose your soul. Because way back then, they lost their soul. That's why they're demons. Many of them are your ancestors. And they have jumped on you. And they are controlling you because they want you to lose your soul. Okay? They want you to create that negative karma. So that you can be in hell right along with them. That's where you're at, many of you. That's where you're at right now. You're in hell with that mindset. Manipulative, sneaky, deceptive, covert narcissist. You have this sense of entitlement. You think you can do shit to people. Many of you look at people like numbers. You see a red dot like a, people are just red dots to you. You try to figure out how you can maneuver the dots and get the dots to work out for you according to your agenda. You are a human. God created you. And you are looking at God's children as dots. You're looking at them like they're disposable, like they're some fucking tissue that you can flush down a toilet. That's many of y'all's mentality towards God's children.
It's been your mentality. You've been trying to figure out how you're going to control the world. The only thing you're going to control I can't even think of anything to say about that. <laughs> you're going to control the fact that you're in hell. Shit. That's the only thing. You can't control shit. Many of you are spiritually bankrupt. Y'all got all the money in the world and shit, millions and billions and trillions and shit. But you don't know shit about spirituality. You got demons all in you and all around you and shit. You're spiritually bankrupt. That's what that means. Y'all need to go ahead and follow chapter 13. Get your life in order. Before you really do lose your soul to eternal damnation. Okay? Now look, I have to say it like this because, you know, look, this has been building up for a while. Because I've been dealing with y'all for a very long time. Over a couple of years now. And shit. Y'all been hiding and shit. And then, you know, I would see y'all. Y'all was following me at one point in time. You know, the ones with them shades on and shit following me and shit like I'm a threat I'm minding my own business just doing God's work and here y'all are want to judge me call me names and shit because I'm doing something different than what y'all are doing so anyways I hope y'all can make it. So take care of yourself. I love you. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love you. Sometimes it's like I gotta go in hard on y'all sometimes. It's like that's the only way y'all gonna listen to me if I just, I just like I gotta like whoosh, whoop y'all and shit. You'll be like, ah, uh, okay, what you say now? Okay, I'm listening, what? I gotta do shit like that to y'all. Cause if you, if you, if you too nice, then, you know, y'all like to take advantage of people when they're nice. So I hope y'all, I hope, I pray that you guys take this message, take it with, take it and receive it and know that it's coming from love. Because many of y'all have been under a spell. It's like y'all don't even know what's going on. So it's time to clean out the, you know, clean out the sleep from those eyes and see what's really going on around here. Many of you, you got a chance to make it despite what you've done in the past. You still got a chance. Shit, I was doing, I was in a kidnapping business. I told y'all that, y'all know that. I was in a kidnapping business. I was putting handcuffs and, and uh, ankle cuffs on human beings, on God's children putting them in buses and shit, putting them on planes and shit, putting them in cells and shit. That's what I was doing. God's children. Okay. So if I can do it, you can do it. I made it out of hell. I didn't know what I was doing back then. I did not know what I was doing back then. I just wanted that money. I wanted that, that job title. I wanted the houses and the cars and the, and the beautiful women and all that shit. Okay? Just like many of you do. I didn't realize what I was doing. Okay? I was, com I was committing crimes on humanity. So... I went through all of that. I quit my job. 
and went through everything that I've been through these last couple of years so that, so that I can be right here to tell you, you are in grave danger. If you are still doing those types of jobs, those types of crimes against humanity, you are in grave danger. Okay? But you can change it. You can fix it. You can right your wrongs. This is my way of righting my wrongs. Okay? Now, I love you. And take good care of yourself. God bless you. Bye.